Let me show you how to unlock the Opal camo in less than 30 minutes inside Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. And no, this is not clickbait. All right, so for this strat, of course, you're gonna need to be in a guided version of Liberty Falls. Now, really fast for a little pro tip, if you wanna get this started faster, I highly recommend going in with Aether Shroud with the Burst Dash Augment equipped. However, keep in mind that this is not needed. Now, step one, of course, is when you get into Liberty Falls, you're gonna wanna make sure that you reach the round cap of 11. Now, if you did bring in Burst Dash, then what I recommend doing at this point is making sure that you have a charge of your Aether Shroud. You then wanna go up to the spawn rooftop. You wanna jump out, turn to the right, and use your burst dash and you should be placed on the other side of the zip line. Now at this point you can just turn around and use that zip line and it's going to take you over to the top of the bank where you're going to want to make sure that you buy that gate when you get there otherwise you're going to start taking damage. Now at this point you can take the other zip line directly across from you that's going to take you to the graveyard and then of course you can just enter into the church and pack a punch if you want. Now if you did not bring in burst dash you can just make your way to the church the old-fashioned way. This is just a way to get here faster and save a little bit of essence. However no matter which way you do it when you do enter the church it's going to then raise the round cap to 11. At this point you want to make sure that you do not progress the main easter egg instead what you want to do is just make sure that you're pack punched and you're ready to go and then you want to take that zip line back to the alamo or the top of the bank now once you're up here you want to make sure that you do not open up any more doors you want to make sure that you stay away from the little drop down panel on the side as well as the two other zip lines that are in the back and on the side all right now at this point you are ready to go so what you're going to want to do when you are on round 11 is make sure that you eliminate that mangler as he's going to spawn out of the only window that is on the roof you then just want to run around on the rooftop gathering up all the zombies that are going to be piling up there with you and then of course you just want to eliminate them as fast as possible which if you are also needing criticals this is an extremely good strat for that too however once that round ticks over to another round 11 you should get another mangler spawning from that window and then you just want to rinse and repeat these steps as fast as you can so at the beginning of every round a mangler should spawn out of that window you just want to take him out as fast as you can then run around and train up all the zombies and take them out as fast as you can and then rinse and repeat this and you should be able to complete any opal camo in less than half an hour so for instance yesterday i took in the lr762 and i timed it and was able to complete the entire opal grind in about 26 minutes then after that i went and I used the SVD and was able to complete that opal grind in about 28 minutes. Now, if you rinse and repeat these steps as best as you can, you should be able to get a mangler to spawn in about every 45 seconds to a minute. And as far as I'm aware, I think this is the fastest and easiest method on mangler farms without actually having to go high rounds. However, if you guys have a method or you know of any method that might be faster than this, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, that is going to be it on this video. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please help me out by hitting that like and share. Otherwise, please don't forget to drop a follow for some of the best Black Ops 6 tips, tricks, news, and anything in between.